Hi, this is Kyle Lee, Senior Construction Solutions Specialist with ATG USA. And this is the first in a series of technical talk videos that I'll be rolling out to discuss the different tools available within the Autodesk Build module. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at the Build home screen. So once you've logged into the Construction Cloud website and selected the appropriate project, you should land here on the build home screen. The first thing that you'll see on the left hand side of the screen here is we have our different tool sets that are available to us. And if you would like, you have the ability to click this arrow here to collapse that down so that only the icons are visible and this will free up just a little bit more room on your working monitor. So starting at the top, we see um, that it's just telling us here's what's happening on the project today. In the upper right hand corner of the screen, we can see the physical address for our project right here. And then right down here, the very top box that you see is our project progress box. So in the project progress box, we can see that we have one of five milestones that have been completed. We can see that there are 309 days left on the project based upon this target completion date that we have right over here. And that completion date can be edited. As you can see, we can go through and we can select any of the milestone icons to see what that milestone was. And as you can see, this one is in red because it shows to be overdue. But again, we can simply click and see the different milestones for the project. And we can even show those milestones right here. Now, this particular milestone was completed while I was out of town on vacation. So we can simply go in and check mark the button here to change that to show that that milestone has been completed as well. We can edit or remove milestones if necessary or change the dates associated with them, or we can create new milestones by clicking this button down here, entering in the milestone date, I'm sorry, the milestone name, the due date, and then hitting the create button there. In this case, we're just gonna hit cancel. We can hide our milestones. The next thing that we'll see here just to the right of our project progress are recent activities that have taken place on the project. You can see that we can scroll through and see the complete list of all activities. If we need to, we can also filter this down and select specific activities, whether they're related to new sheets, issues, photos, possibly being mentioned during a workflow, or your submittals. So again, these are the recent activities that have taken place on the, progress, on the project, and we can very easily scroll down and see what's taking place and who may have made these changes the date and time stamp. The next thing that we'll see in the uh, project home page here within build is our quick links area. And these quick links will show will take us to the either the sheets or the members. And this at a very quick glance will tell us the number of active sheets that we have on the project and the um, number of active team members as well. Just to the right of our quick links, we can see our site weather and our site weather is based upon the address that we enter during project setup. So as you can see here, we're expecting some rain today with the high of 94 degrees in North Little Rock, Arkansas. And we can expand this down to show a extended forecast and possibly even get a detailed forecast if necessary for the area in question where the project is taking place. The next thing that you'll see in the project homepage as we scroll down here inside of Autodesk Build is we'll see that we have our work status area. So this is going to call out a couple of different things here. This is going to call out different um, assignments that are in our name specifically, <clears throat> whether this is related to issues, RFIs, or possibly even submittals. We'll also see the project work that's been assigned overall. So this is a very quick and easy way to see what's taking place on the project and what may be responsible to you, as well as responsible for the project overall. And we can quickly select this right here. We can click here to jump directly into the issues area to see which two issues are overdue if necessary. The next area that we'll speak about here very quickly is our mobile sync status area. So this is going to tell us the percentage of people within our project, project team members that actually have the most up-to-date version of the project that's been downloaded to their mobile device for use out in the field. As you can see here, 100% of the project members are using the most recent version of this project on the mobile device currently. And we can see that the last project updates took place on the 21st of July. The very next thing, and this is a new feature that has been included 
um, just recently is this bridge area. And as you can see, this is currently in its beta version. And so we'll talk about this in more detail in a future Tech Talk video. But what this bridge area allows us to do is it allows us to take published sheets from our project and share those with another Autodesk Construction Cloud project that we've been invited into. Uh, this is a very, um, very big development in my opinion, because this is a, the first step in the right direction of being able to share data across projects. And the one thing that we'll see when we look at this in more um, in more depth and in more detail in a future Tech Talk video is the fact that we can take our published sheets and share them across projects, not only our own projects that have been created on our construction cloud site, but also we can share those with projects that we may have been invited into from another business partner's construction cloud site. So more to come on the bridge functionality in the future recording covering the sheets area. So thanks for joining me for today's Tech Talk video. I hope this has been informative and I look forward to providing more of these in the future. So stay tuned.